Hey guys, Azerothian needs a res again. Hello my fellow Azerothians and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a good one. Today we'll be talking about the top 10 items coming to you in phase 5. Kicking off the list at number 10, we have the Breastplate of Annihilation. This chest has 37 strength, 1% to hit, and 1% to crit. It is amazing in every single way and what puts SGC in the grave. Fury Warriors will be drooling over this item. Coming in at number 9, we have the Amulet of the Fallen God. This neck gives 11 stam, 57 healing, and 6 MP5. These mass amounts of healing in the MP5 on this thing make this neck an absolute must have for any healer that is rating AQ40. Number 8 on our list is our first non gear item. This was actually an enchanting item. This is the oils that come in phase 5 for casters and healers. These things are going to be so good for casters and healers. Up till now, healers haven't really had many consumes beside like mana pots to use, and they're going to be popping these every fight. Expect stuff like large brilliant shards and such to go way up in price when phase 5 drops. Swinging in at number 7, we have the Dark Edge of Insanity. This Badass two-handed axe has a sick model and a fucking crazy effect. This thing is just badass and it's one of the things I really want to get just for an Iron Forge set, honestly. I don't PvP and the effect is great for PvP, don't get me wrong, but it's not biggest on my on my priority list. I just want it because it looks cool. Coming in at number six is the Robes of the Guardian Saint. 70 plus healing, 7 MP5, and 22 intellect make this the go-to chest for any paladin. These are the best healing robes for all of classic for holy paladins and rest of druids. These are amazing and paladins get to keep on wearing the pretty little blue dresses just like they always do. And finally cracking top 5, we are reaching the juicy juicy items. Starting with our number 5, the bug pink, wait no. Ancient Karaji Ripper, but we all know what it really looks like. This item is amazing. This sword rogues drool over this. Fury Warriors will give anything to have this. It is just such an amazing weapon. I just wish it looked cooler. And that is why, on my personal bias list, this is number five because you wouldn't catch me dead wielding that ugly thing. Smashing in at number four, we have the Titanic Leggings. 30 strength, 2% chance to hit, and 1% chance to crit. These are craftable by armorsmiths. These are just as rare as Lionheart Helm, so you can only get these from level 60 plus mobs and you have to get the recipe. And whoever gets this recipe on your server first will be able to charge upwards of 300G just for crafts because every Fury Warrior, Fury Krat, Red Paladin will be going after these legs. They are that good. Imagine getting 2% hit, 60 attack power, and 1% crit just from a pair of legs. There is no other legs in the game that even compare to these. That is how good they are and that is why they deserve a spot in the top 5. Cracking the top 3 is the perfect dagger for every dagger rogue the ones people will go absolutely nuts for might even break a couple guilds apart if there's enough drama death sting this thing has great stats amazing looks perfect speed this is the perfect dagger for any rogue that is seriously rating aq40 this is a dagger that you will be wearing until you kill kelfazad and you get king's fall which we all know has an abysmal drop rate can't go wrong with this dagger and that is why it is in the top three of the top 10 items coming in phase five coming in at number two and just missing the number one spot is the last item that drops from aq and that is none other than the scepter of the fallen prophet this thing is the best healing one-hander available it is 187 plus healing with stats yep you heard me right 187 plus healing not 87 187 
this thing has a 4% drop rate off of Cthulhu, the last boss of AQ40, and will be driving all of your healers absolutely nuts if they don't get the first one, because like I said, a 4% drop chance. Just horrible and sad to see that someone may not get this in the entirety of Classic. Best of luck to you if you do see this drop. I really do hopefully hope you get this. Now moving on to number one. The end of the video is near and with the most predictable ending, we have the number one spot, the Ancient Black Karaji War Mount. You get this item by doing the AQ gate opening quest line, which is absolutely insane in every single way. People are literally taking three to four weeks off just to get this quest done. You have to kill over 20,000 mobs, go to islands and over fatigue waters, uh, go to several different raids to get items that may not even drop. This thing is sexy in every single way, and if I had the time, I potentially would do this myself. But for now, I'll leave that to the madmans that want this mount that bad. And with looks, rarity, and just the absolute reputation you get for having one of these, that is why this mount is number one on my top 10 list of items coming in phase five with an undisputed win. Honestly, I knew before I even thought of this video that this was going to be number one. But that's all I have for you guys today. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow my new Twitter that I'm going to be using for video updates. I'm now starting streaming on Twitch as well. And for any other ideas or anything that I feel like posting on Twitter, really. So go ahead and look down in the description for that link and give me a follow. Well, that's it, guys. I'll see you guys next time. This was super fun to record, and I'm already working on the next one. Later, guys.